Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show everyone some spin tires. Uh, it's a simulation off-road um, type of game. <clears throat> um, so, it's really rough, it's not so commercial about, I mean, you know, with a lot of objectives and do this and do that and a really tutorial, just you, you find yourself in the middle of the game and you'll have to figure it out to yourself so I'm gonna try to to show you some some things here first off you have a garage garage with some trucks fuel station and um, <clears throat> somewhere to get lumber and then you get also an objective where you have to get to take the lumber from here and deliver it that's basic what you have to do. The thing is, on the different you, ha you get different trucks in the garage, but you you can find trucks on the map, and you have to drive to them to unlock them. You don't get everything in the garage. You also get another garage on the map, but you also have to unlock this one by uh, driving there, and you have to drive there with garage points loaded on your trucks. You you don't have to just discover it, you have to go there and and have garage points on your trucks. Also the whole map uh, is it's, uh, it's not uncovered. Uh, I think it's like 30% of the map you get from the beginning. The rest is cloaked, so you have to drive to different locations on the map where it says cloaked and it will reveal the map. So I had like, let's see, like Three, six, I don't know, maybe nine cloaked or more regions where I have to drive. After driving one path, it will be highlighted like this. So this is not a road, this is a path that I drove on. You see, through the forest, on a small road, and because here it's really flat, flat and not so muddy and so uh, foresty. Here it's a lot more forest, so you have to drive on the sealed roads. They're not really really roads so what I did the first time was I got the truck I got to get I went to get some fuel I get some lumber I discovered this garage I didn't have garage points so I didn't unlock them I unlock it and then I drove to the objectives I didn't really know what happens how you load unload was the objective just said objective delivered to uh, zero box zero of eight so I didn't know what to deliver but I realized okay it was lumber so then I, I made a plan first of all I drove to the garage again with some garage points on another truck I discovered this truck here this really big truck which is really really good for, for driving in this harsh terrain and really good for helping other trucks come out with a winch and all that uh, getting them out of the mud and water and all that so this is very good problem with this one it consumes a lot of fuel so it has an 800 liters tank but it, it consumes a lot a lot of fuel if you especially if you get stuck and stuff like that so you have to be careful uh, because you only have one fuel station and that's here you get some fuel at the garage but only 200 liters I mean up to 200 liters in the tank so you're not gonna get 200 liters above of what you have it's up to 200 liters which is really nothing for this truck which yeah as you can see half of the tank is 400 so on the at the garage you can change the trucks I can show with some other trucks I have here that I don't use at the moment with any load here you have some tanks just just turn um, uh, so you can you can change what you want to install and uninstall you can install beacons you can uh, let's see if this just cistern has anything in it no zero liters I don't have yeah okay um actually in the beginning i didn't even knew that i you could install sisters or something else so i had this sister here and tried try to drive it to 
to the fueling station so I get some fuel, some more fuel to the garage because you can fuel your trucks with fuel from this cistern. So um, that's that's helpful. So what I did, I I I drove it through the mud and water through there. So I had to like winch my way to the fueling station because there's no real road. So if you uninstall the system, you can install garage parts. So you unlock garages with them. You can install tractors, so you can put se semi trucks. Utility, it will uh, got uh, you'll get 800 repair points, so you can repair your trucks. Log cards. Uh, oh, it's not available on this one. Yeah, this one is. So you can log. Uh, you can. Um, you can carry logs, carriage, and different trailers. Uh, you can attach garage trailer, utility trailer, carriage trailer. If you have the truck in tractor installed, you can have semi trailer, utility semi trailer, sister semi trailer. So I drove with this sister semi trailer, I think. No, 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 no it wasn't semi trailer. I'm li lying right now. It was this one like this. It was awful even because it, it doesn't have traction on the front wheels and it's not this truck is not made for but then I realized I can install systems on other uh, trucks so I did I installed it on on the big truck so my plan was to install the system on, on the big truck the one that can drive through everything the semi trailer it was a bad idea because it's that one it's really hard to turn so in the forest it's really hard to drive with a semi truck sister and on the other truck that I'm driving right now um, I think is this one uh, this one had installed a log carriage with uh, a, another cart right here so it would be like a, a semi truck of, of logs uh, and it was really difficult to drive with that as well and I turned the car over a few times, I dropped the load, I had a crane so I could reload the truck but it wasn't easy, it's not easy to use that. So then I changed my mind So and I installed a carriage, this will, uh, you can load less logs in it, just two, two units, you see the objective is eight, so I already have delivered two and this one is also two. But then I installed a utility trailer, so I will have some fuel with me and some repair points. Uh, 400 liters of fuel and 600 repair points and now one extra hundred for the spare wheel. You cannot have the spare wheel if you have the crane because the crane will take the place here, the space here. So that's what I did. Uh, two points of logs here go through the fuel station from this garage here fuel up both the truck and the cistern in the back uh, get, get the logs go to this garage to repair and fuel up or anything and then get to go to the objective because the easiest way is like this if you try to, to drive through the, all the forest it's not going to work because you cannot drive over the trees and then on the same road I took this one so I'm driving uh, both of them not at the same time of course and this one has four points of logs um, so it will be six plus six is this four plus those two six and then I have already have two once this delivery is gonna be made the objective is completed so f and also I will I use this one to help the other truck when it gets stuck because sometimes you get stuck in the mud and there are no trees so you can winch your way out there are not you, you can I mean you're stuck in there and since you also have a trailer it's even harder to get out and if you flip over the truck you're gonna lose your load and that's not good because you have to drive back all the way and truck will get damaged all that it's bad so whenever I get stuck I'm trying to. I'm getting this truck back to that one and try to to help that truck get out. 
And also I use this truck to, to see that if the terrain is good enough, because if I get stuck with that one between trees with a trailer, it's going to be harder to get out. This one, it's really more, much more tougher. So let's play, uh, stop talking and play some. I'm going to start the engine and raise the brake. And I'm going to drive over this bridge over here. Hopefully it will hold. Oh, it does. Okay, and just to be sure, let me get the other truck as well. Uh, release the brake. I don't have... You can select if you want to log the differential. You see, the mod is really, really hard on this one. Let's get some all-wheel drive, lock the differential. Unengage all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive will help you a lot. And of course the diff, diff lock as well, but um, all-wheel drive will consume more fuel. And diff lock in, in casual game is not going to do anything, it's just helping. Uh, maybe you're not going to turn as, as well as you do but if you use it if you use the diff lock in uh, the other mode which is not casual i think it's uh, called pro i don't know um if you use the diff lock there you're gonna damage the truck while using the lock uh am i on the right road yes i am uh some mud coming up you can try to drive off but you risk tipping the truck over because one wheel may be stuck in the mud and the other one outside on the on, in the forest and with all the logs you may be tipping over so you should drive through the mud sometimes it's just the way it is and as if i would need help here i would just back back up the big truck and winch out if i cannot winch myself out with like I'm not stuck now, but I can show you how you winch. You just go into advanced, choose which winch you want to, cho to use, and then choose a tree. And then as you accelerate, it cl you use the F, and then winch will pull out. And then you just click X to release. And if you winch with a, a truck, from this truck, you winch this one, while you you push the F, it's not gonna only pull the winch, it will also accelerate this truck. So it's like you have a remote control. I guess this could be really fun in multiplayer. I haven't tried that yet. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. So now I'm on the bridge. <laughs> really cool, you see. So let's uh, change truck. If the other truck is nearby, you can just click change truck like that. So, oh, the black smoke is black. I guess this uh, this is a Volkswagen truck. <laughs> no, <laughs> just a bad joke. I would I would guess I would need help with the other truck in this kind of mod. So let me. Let me see how this works. Maybe I will just drive both of them with the winch. Uh, something like that. Hopefully it will work. Uh, change truck. This one. And I want to see the back of the truck. Like this. Advanced. What? Why? Isn't there a winch point? What's this? Ah, I have to start the engine to get the winch. Because the winch is engine activated. Yep. Good. 
The camera is not the best with this game, I have to admit. Uh, you see, it's... I cannot make it go where I want. Oh, yeah. You can actually hold the mouse wheel uh, to zoom in and out only. So, I would like a way to just move the camera freely, you know. Not just like this. Come on. Like this. Okay. And now you can make the other truck. You see. Even the steering. So now, when I drive this one, it will drag that one. And when I put the. Uh, I uh, use the winch, it will make the other one. Accelerate. Thing is, I don't really like driving like this because I don't see exactly what the other truck is doing. So I'm just gonna try to. Get out. It's getting dark as well. Uh, it's not. It's not fun to drive through this kind of train at night. But I'm doing it anyways. Oh oh oh. Okay. Easy does it. Okay, let's stop here and wait for the other truck. Okay, easily. Uh, last time I flipped over twice in the same place, it was something like this mud and water. You don't know how the ground is under the water, so. Also, if the water gets too deep, it's, it's gonna damage your truck, so you should be careful. Okay, easily. Oh, 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 steer a bit like that. Okay, let's see how far we are from the destination. You can even put like GPS. Oh, we have some, some way to do, some more. You can use your headlights, then you get a lot of light in front of you, but you're not going to be able to see well uh, around you. So it's a trade-off in the night, because like this you can see what's happening around your truck. Okay, the terrain is getting a bit um, better. 
I don't like the mod so much, but uh, actually stones, big rocks are worse. Uh, now we have water, a big pool of water. Oh, it's not so, so deep, so. And it's not muddy, it's sandy, which is good. But now comes some mud. I'm guessing. Okay. Oh, oh, don't tip over. Get into the mud instead. Oof. Okay, we're almost. Okay, let's get the other truck to here. I mean, this this is a tough tough truck as well. It's it's not as um, as good as the other one, but still you can you see with the diff lock and all the drive, you can even drive the trailer without big problems. It's not going fast, but the only problem with this one is it's uh, easier to tip over if you're not careful. But you can use your, you can even use the winch to to stabilize the truck. Oh, well, maybe you're wondering when I tipped over the truck last time, how did I put it back? Back. I used the crane because you have the crane on top of the. Um, a truck, you can just use it to push yourself back on the wheels. I don't have the crane now, so if I'm tipping over now, I think I'm gonna lose the load. Uh, I'm gonna lose the load and I'll have to winch it back on, on the wheels. I think problem is when the truck is old, sometimes the uh, engine won't start and then you cannot operate the crane, you cannot operate the winch, and then you have a bigger problem. You'll have to save the truck, rescue the truck to the garage which means teleport the truck to one of the garages and then you lose load and you lose all the fuel in the trailer unless you disconnect the trailer if you disconnect the trailer then you're gonna, you're gonna be fine uh, because you will leave the trailer there and have to, to pick it up from there instead, but let's see how this water was gonna work for us. Looking good, the trailer is just following us as it should. Let's not lose the road now. A rock. Oh, 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 no, not a good idea, yes, back, I don't want to go up there on the side, just go through the mud instead, uh, let's see the trailer, uh, the trailer is not, it's, it's lighter, so if it tips over you can just drag it, drag it back into the place, you can winch back the trailer, it's not gonna drop any load, I don't think it's gonna drop, drop the fuel. So I'm not so concerned about the trailer. Also the fuel, I don't really, I don't think I will need the fuel because I'm really close now. I just took it just in case I would get stuck and have to use the, the, the fuel for getting back on track. Okay, change truck, get this one. Oh, a branch is stuck here, pretty cool. Uh, let's see, I think we're really, really close because the rest of the road is kind of flat and it's gonna be through the forest. Okay, let's see. 
Uh, no, I should have taken away here instead. Okay. Another problem with this big guy is that it's really hard to turn. So I'm gonna back actually. It's hard to turn it because you see that the wheels are not turning a lot. Uh, that's it, that's all. And it's a big, big, big truck. Okay, let's try this. Oh, you can you can have the camera like this as well. Now or now you can it's easily to use the headlights in this. Okay. Oh, so it's really here. As you can see, last time I drove here, I I never moved the truck away. Just left it there and took another truck from the garage. And it's in the way now. So if we're if we're here, oh, I can just unload four points, and it's done. It's done automatically. Um, when you're loading, you can either go to the to a log logging station. What is it called? Uh, camp? No. I go to lumber here and it load you can load automatically if you're here but if you go to the log shows okay i cannot show you because i don't have a truck here here you have to use the crane and load it yourself which is a bit harder to do uh, because you then you have to operate the the crane yourself i will show you uh, you can put down the extend the anchors position push down now and then it can operate the crane up down forward backward it's it seems easy but it's not really that easy to pick up stuff and, and position them in the, in the, the truck as you wish to it's not hard but yes some then you can open it like this grab something Uh, as I told you, if you flip over, you can use this to to push the track back. If you don't have the anchors, see so you can push the track like this. Whoop. So yeah, and then you can restore it like this so e easily. Gonna drive this out of the way. like this. So the unloading is done automatically as well. <coughs> um, but the loading could be done manually with the crane and in the other mode, the pro mode or expert mode, or that's the one that is not casual. You only can, you can only do it um, You can only do it manually with a crane. You're not gonna be able to do it um, automatically. So yeah, here we are. Be cool to flip over the truck right like here. Uh, let me drive this other one out of the way as well. Okay, good. So nice. I played this for seven freaking hours. I did, I didn't realize that seven hours uh, of doing this. As I told you, I explored the whole map, and um, 
I flipped over the track twice with uh, medium logs uh, last time uh, here in this mud here somewhere so I just re re rescued the truck and start over again with a utility trailer instead of um, the logs so I traveled 25 kilometers times rescued 11 well I rescued a lot of trucks that I found back at the garage that I never used so but yeah it's uh, I think it's a really really fun game to play I just show you a, a bit of it so you're not gonna get bored hopefully you're not gonna get bored but still it took 30 minutes to to get to start with a small walkthrough of what's happening and um, driving the last part to the objective uh, it took some time um, I can show some some more stuff just just some you can detach the trailer and to attach you just click here but if you, you don't have to drive like exactly to that trailer you can be like here and then it will uh, you can do like this I hate the camera in this game to be honest the camera is the worst um, advanced and you're not it's, it's kind of attached with the trailer need to move closer so what you do you winch the trailer towards you like this <laughs> uh, some trailers you can winch from here which is really really good but uh, not this one why would you do that so you have to adjust the position a bit uh, something like that yeah you, you get the idea I'm not gonna do it right now because uh, challenge ac accepted Okay. And you cannot drive in advanced mode for some reason. It's also something that Okay, let's do it like this. Now it's connected. So get out of advanced mode. Yeah, it's and I now can and I, you can refuel and all that. So that's it. This is spin tires. I'm enjoying it a lot because I like this kind of simulators with trucks and off-road and driving all-wheel drive, differential lock, winching, all that kind of stuff. It's um, I like it more than racing and other stuff, um, and I like <laughs> I like it. I mean, it's not um, as frustrating or as not pro it's not as pressuring as playing a MOBA or some other kind of game. It's just if you want to relax, just sit by your computer. You can play w with a controller that I'm gonna get soon. Maybe play it on your TV, relax, drive some trucks. Uh, move some logs um, and winch your way to the objective cool um, thanks for watching and see you on YouTube and Twitch